What's up beautiful people, this is Mike from MyGuessWell and I hope you are having an amazing day. Today's video, we are talking about the HDMI 2.1 has become more complicated than it is already enough complicated, right? So why it is becoming more complicated, that has to do with the HDMI.org, the way they are dealing with their transition from HDMI 2.0b to HDMI 2.1. So they have finally retired the HDMI 2.0b and now we have the HDMI 2.1 which includes backward compatibility to the HDMI 2.0b which is the 18 gbps bandwidth the tmds and then up to the 48 gbps which is the frl and most of the tvs we have is limited to the 40 gbps bandwidth so that's not the case here we are talking about every tv now out there and the monitor gonna have the hdmi 2.1 enabled on it so that means that those TVs can do the HDMI 2.1 specifications and they can write on it that it's HDMI 2.1, but it's not gonna be HDMI 2.1 specification that we are aware of. So now let's simplify this as it is already enough complicated, right? So 4K 120 Hertz is something that can be done using the HDMI 2.1 specification maximum. And then you can do the 8K 60 Hertz maximum, right? So with the 4K 120 Hertz and the 8K 60 Hertz. This is just the, uh, the resolution and the refresh rate. But then it comes with the other goodies, other features like variable refresh rates, the quick frame transport, uh, we have the auto low latency, and also we have the variable refresh rates. So all of these features have become now optional. So let's say a TV maker can make a TV with HDMI 2.0B specification and write HDMI 2.1 on it. And that will be all good because that's what the Xiaomi did in China. They made the monitor where they put the HDMI 2.1 on the HDMI. And this is the report from the TFT Central and you guys can look up. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can further read. It's really a good read and this is something really alarming because the regular consumer out there, he's gonna go to the market, buy the TV, looking at the HDMI 2.1 because he or she needs the TV for Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5. But when he or she will get home, he will connect the TV to the PlayStation or Xbox Series X, it will be limited to the 4K 60 Hertz because now regardless, you have the 2.0B or you have 2.1, the specification is just totally destroyed. And that guy is gonna be pissed off because now it's stuck at 4K 60, it cannot do 4K 120 Hertz. Or maybe if it can do 4K 120 Hertz, now it's gonna be not able to do the VRR because it's optional. Before the certification would require VRR, ALLM. But the thing is Sony, it still doesn't have the VRR out there, right? But they will put, they will start giving you updates uh, like they started doing it for the uh, 2020 model, the X900H, and they will put for the new models, you asteric that is gonna be coming in future updates. So that is what been happening. It was already enough confusing. Some of the manufacturers will give you two HDMI ports, uh, which are 2.1 capable, and then the rest will be HDMI 2.0B. But now HDMI.org has eliminated everything magically and now everything has become just HDMI 2.1 without having to have the VRR, ALLM, eARC, and quick frame transport. So now what we can do to make sure that we are buying the right TV. So whenever you're looking at the TV, make sure on the HDMI ports in the back, they always mention 4K 120 Hertz. So ignore the HDMI 2.1, ignore the HDMI 2.0B, just look at the 4K 120 Hertz support on the HDMI. It will say that on the back of the TV, if it does 4K 120 Hertz, one variable is checked there, that your Xbox Series X gonna get the 4K 120 Hertz. Now, you have to look further in the description because the VRR, ALLM, QFT, eARC, all of these features have become the optional. Even though a TV doesn't have it, it will still be HDMI 2.1 in the specification because that's how the HDMI.org has allowed them to use the HDMI 2.1 on the backward compatible uh, specification of HDMI 2.0b because if you know the funnel how it is you have the maximum FRL that is 48 Gbps and then you have in the middle this is the 18 Gbps TMDS so that's HDMI 2.0b and every HDMI 2.1 uh, was uh, supposed to be backward compatible so that it can run 
uh, the HDMI 2.0B standard. So it's similar to like how you upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 11 and Windows 11 will be backward compatible. So that's what they have done and they have retired, let's say Windows 7. But it has made more confusion and I'll just keep it real that it is really confusing already how I'm dealing with like all the TVs I have at home, the Samsung, the um, LG is the only one in the OLED. I would say that they have all HDMI 2.1 ports can do VRR, ALLM, the eARC. Everything is just perfect there. 4K 120 hertz port on all of them. But Samsung would be like just one port HDMI 2.1 specification. Then you have the Sony will do it on two HDMI 2.1 ports. So already like Literally making this video, my head is almost like exploding with the information out there because of these manufacturers not keeping it together. And in the end, like um, you customer out there is paying the price. So whenever you go now, buy the TV, make sure to look for the 4K 120 Hertz and make sure all of the features are available uh, because now the manufacturers can play at their own terms and they can exploit probably as the Xiaomi in China exploited it. Their monitor was not the HDMI 2.1 specification, but they have this liberty now that they can use the HDMI 2.1 and they'll not be held accountable for this because they are not doing anything wrong. So HDMI 2.0B specification monitor now being sold in China for the HDMI 2.1 impression. So make sure to... Go in the comment section, let me know what do you think about this change and I'll see you guys in another video. Until then, peace out.